Hello, in this video series, I'll be building a procedural workflow for taking a simple base mesh and exporting a high poly asset for importing into Unreal using Nanite. Small art teams face the problem of having to create lots of assets to fill large scenes. And with Nanite, there's now the added pressure of creating models with a high degree of detail. Houdini allows us to work non-destructively. We can generate models procedurally and easily go back and make changes and see those changes update through to the final result or even reuse the network with a different input to quickly get a new variation. We can take advantage of this workflow by using TOPS to automate the process of running multiple different inputs through the same network. This way we can take a number of simple base meshes and easily generate game ready assets. Even if you aren't looking to use Nanite as part of your game art pipeline, I hope these videos demonstrate the advantage of incorporating TOPS into your Houdini workflow. In the first video, I will prepare a base mesh where we will create a tag attribute that will define which parts of the mesh will be stone and which will be metal. In the second video, I will build the network to generate the high poly detail starting with the stone. In the third video, I will continue to develop the high poly detail and build the procedural metal. In the fourth video, I will optimize the geometry with the polyreduce and generate the UVs. In the fifth video, I will use a COPS network to bake an ID and mask map. In the sixth video, I will begin preparing the network fused with the tops and start by adding the tag attribute to the rest of the base meshes. In the seventh video, I will set up a tops network that will process all the base meshes and export the final models and baked maps. In the eighth and final video, I will import the results of the tops network into Unreal and set up the material. And this is the final network. This file is included with the project files, which can be found with the video series on sidefx.com forward slash pegasus, or follow the link in the video description. You'll find the Houdini file along with these models and a noise mask texture that I use when creating the material in Unreal.